Once you start creating many different files, you're going to need a way to quickly navigate between them. To help with this, Atoms included a package in its core called Fuzzy Finder that allows you to quickly navigate between these. So to start, let's go ahead and create a few uh, files. I'm going to go ahead and create a index2.js and put another console log hello world in here. And I'll create one more called index3.js and put another console log in here. As you can see, I have all of these items open in my editor. But if I wanted to quickly navigate between these, I could use Fuzzy Finder. To activate this, use the key commands Command and T, which will bring up the Fuzzy Finder. As you can see here, it's listed out all of the different files that I have available in my project. Fuzzy Finder gets its name because you can use a fuzzy logic to determine which files you would like to open. So for instance, if I knew my file was named something to 2.js, I just type in the words 2.js and you can see that it filters down those files. Likewise, I can search for all of the JavaScript files or type out the file explicitly and hit open. Another feature of Fuzzy Finder is it allows you to search between your open tabs. So if you have a number of open tabs, you can use the command B option, which will pull open all the tabs that you've opened and allow you to quickly cycle between those. One additional option is the fuzzy search, which searches through files that have been modified since your last git commit. So in this case, if you executed the command, command shift B, it would display just the files that have been modified since. This is handy because likely these are the ones that you've been working on as part of this commit. One important note of Fuzzy Finder is that it automatically excludes any files that are in your global ignores file. So if you remember in preferences, there's a ignored file names. By default, this includes things like Git, thumbs directory, SVN, etc. You can customize these to further exclude files. So in this case, if I wanted to exclude index.index3.js, you could simply save that and open up Fuzzy Finder and you'll see that it simply removes that from the file. This is great because especially if you use Node, uh, it won't exclude, it will automatically exclude things like Node modules if they're excluded in your ignore.